All right guys, so now we've taken our measurements, we've set up the standing frame to those measurements, and now Max is in there. Um, so the first thing we always, always do, in no matter if it's a chair, walker or stander, is our lap strap first, our pelvic strap. If you think there's too much gap down the sides, there's just uh, a little thumb screw under here, just where the pelvis is, and you can see that move in and out like so. So push that in, tighten it up, okay? No. And the other side, tighten that up also. So you should just be able to get a finger down the sides. Lay down. Just stay there. Right, so you just need to put the black one across first. And what happens is you have to actually just bring that back onto itself and fold it like so. And then the blue one, and not forgetting everything has to be really quite tight on the support. So pull that. Right, Maxie's falling asleep. <laughs> so once you've got that one, I like to go down to the knees. But as you can see on my one, I haven't got the knee straps. Um, so you would have two blue knee straps, just what come over here, and you'll click those in to the side. Again, nice and tight. Then I'll go down to the feet and you'll just strap those in with the sandals that you have. Next would be your chest strap, which will go across like here. And again, you might need just to tighten that up a little bit. Breathe in, Max. There we go. And you can get rid of those straps by just lifting it and tucking it underneath there as well. Also with these chest laterals, you might just move them in a little bit or out a little bit. And like the same with the pelvis, there's a little thumb screw under here. Undo it and you can put that in and out. And like I said, you just want about a finger's gap. So when Max is all nice and safe and secure, what I like to do, if we just turn you around, Maxi, like so, I like to stand at the feet here and have a look up and see if he's nice and straight and symmetrical there. So when he's ready to go, right, lay down you've got a pull pin just on here, a silver pin that you'll have to pull out, twist, and then you've got the lever that you push down. But before you do that, always, always, I like to come to the side of the standing frame, maybe on my knees, hold the foot plate with one hand and push down the lever with the other. Whoa, you ready? <laughs> and then you just come up nice and slowly, as far as you need to come up from the advice you get from your therapist. But if your child hasn't stood for a while, just come up nice and slow. So once you're about there, lock, lock the pin. And that's when I like to put the tray on, when we're around halfway up. So arms up, Maxi. So tray goes on and you've got some little fun screws on this side and the other side. Tighten those up. And then depending on what your uh, physio has said, you'll come up to say, say 80 degrees, 70 degrees or 65 degrees. So just pull that pin out again. And you ready, Maxi? Ready, steady, up we come. There you go. And then you'll let go and you'll stop in any position that you like. But please, please, please remember just to lock that pin off. Like so. Straight legs. Right, and that's it for the squiggle stander. Thank you, bye bye.